assalamu alaikum greetings welcome to my youtube channel once again continuing from the last video here is the eighth dimensionless number the relay number relay number is a dimensional dimensional number which is used to calculate the natural convection mathematically relay number is equal to the multiplication or product product of Grashof number and Prandtl number or it is equal to G into beta dash uh, into delta T into X cube whole divided by V into K where G is as we know acceleration due to gravity beta is the coefficient of thermal expansion of a fluid delta T uh, is temperature difference X is the length V is the kinematic viscosity and K is thermal diffusivity. While well, we know GR and PR, Grashof and Prandtl number respectively. Now coming to the significance of a relay number. Relay number is very important when we deal with uh, natural convection and uh, we when we talk about uh, the boundary layer of uh, a fluid whether it is laminar or turbulent we know through relay number if the relay number has a value which is called a critical value if a relay number is below a critical value for a fluid then the heat transfer will be in the form of conduction mainly and if it exceeds the critical value of the fluid then the heat transfer will be mainly due to convection. Secondly, in geophysics, relay number is uh, of very much importance as it indicates the strength and presence of convection within a fluid body such as earth's mantle. Uh, we know earth mantle is a solid that behaves as a fluid over geological time scales. So relay number has uh, pretty much importance if uh, we talk about boundary layer, natural convection, and uh, as well as in geophysics. Now coming to the number nine dimensionless number, which is Prandtl number, denoted by P or. There are three definitions that I have mentioned here. Uh, first one is Prandtl number is the ratio of product of the coefficient of viscosity and specific heat at constant pressure divided by thermal conductivity in fluid flow. Secondly, it is the ratio of uh, momentum diffusivity to that of thermal diffusivity, mathematically uh, V divided by alpha. The third definition is Prandtl number is the ratio of fluid viscosity to the thermal conductivity of a substance. If we have a lower Prandtl number, then there will be higher convection heat transfer taking place. Significance or importance of Prandtl number. Fluids that have smaller Prandtl number value are usually free flowing liquids with high thermal conductivity and uh, therefore those fluids are a good choice for heat conducting liquids. Free flowing liquids means uh, relatively uh, lower viscosity. Then uh, liquid metals are very good heat transfer liquids while air uh, interestingly is also a decent heat transfer liquid as well. Air in terms of uh, its liquid uh, state. While organic solvents are not good at heat transfer. When the viscosity increases, the momentum transport dominates over the heat transport. Therefore, the liquids with uh, higher viscosity are a bad choice for heat conduction. If we talk about Prandtl number value for gases, it is usually 0.7, while for water, it is equal to 
In heat transfer problems, the Prandtl number controls the relative thickness of the momentum and boundary layers. When Prandtl is small, Prandtl value is small, Prandtl number value is small, it means that heat diffuses, diffuses quickly compared to velocity. So there will be more heat transfer taking place than momentum transfer. Uh, the analog for Prandtl number in mass transfer, transfer is Schmidt number. Number 10, Lewis number, denoted by Le. Ratio of thermal diffusivity to mass diffusivity is called Lewis number. Lewis number is a measure of the relative thermal and concentration boundary layer thicknesses. It can also be expressed in terms of Prandtl and Schmidt number. So it is a ratio of Schmidt number divided by Prandtl number. So it is uh, used in heat and mass transfer calculations. It is a material constant. Lewis number is used is useful when we talk about simultaneous heat and mass transfer applications. Um, we can say that whenever there is heat and mass transfer taking place at a single place and single time moment, then we use Lewis number to uh, to get different values of uh, the system to know that how the system is behaving. Secondly, it is uh, an important number for studying the combustion phenomena. The final number that I'm discussing here, the dimensionless, dimensionless number is schedule number. Schedule number indicates an, a value which is uh, taken from the expression equal to 1000 into P divided by S where P is the service pressure and S is the allowable stress. Both are measured in pound per A square inch. So if we talk about schedule number values, the schedule 80 pipe will be thicker than schedule 40 pipe. Uh, I have seen in different job tests uh, that are taken from different uh, different for different positions for chemical engineers, uh, they asked about schedule number, what it is about. So it's about uh, the pipe thickness. If the value of schedule is greater, then the pipe is thicker. If it is lesser, then the pipe is thinner, simple as that. So schedule pipe 80 will be thicker than schedule pipe 40. So uh, according to the formula, uh, the allowable stress for material at a given temperature is fixed, which means that an increase in service pressure, the schedule number will increase, which is a pipe wall thickness designator. So, it's about pipe thickness, where is stress will always be constant. The change that takes place and that changes the value of uh, schedule number is the service pressure. So greater the schedule number, the greater will be the thickness of the pipe. Now summarizing, uh, we can say that there are different types of dimensionless numbers and each has its own value and there are different forms of different dimensionless number. These numbers are very important for engineers, professionals with mathematic, mathematical related backgrounds. Especially if I talk about chemical engineers, there is a lot of importance for chemical engineers. Uh, these numbers allow for comparisons between very different systems Dimensionless, dimensionless numbers tell you how the system will behave in a particular situation. There are many useful relationships that exist between these numbers which tells you about specific things that influence the system. These numbers allow you to solve a problem more easily. So these are a kind of uh, help. Like different constants that are used, you can say that dimensionless numbers are, are relatively like constants, uh, like uh, gravity you can call, uh, we use as constant and different constants. So these numbers also helps, uh, help us to calculate mathematical, different mathematical problems for engineers uh, in an easier way. 
when you need to solve a problem numerically dimensionless groups help you to scale your problem easily subscribe this channel like and comment and also share this channel and its videos to appreciate and give your precious suggestions stay united chemical engineers